All right, guys, this is Cyclone. How's everybody doing? Uh, a friend of mine, Bill, up here in Maine, can't find his VIN number on his trailer. And I tried looking online for videos about it, and I couldn't find anything. So most trailers, all trailers, have a tongue, is what they call this here. And I actually hemmed and hawed for a few minutes trying to find this one. But if you look, I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes the VIN number is underneath your LP tray. And this one right here happens to be P3733, but also there'll be another tag. Hopefully you guys can see that right here where my finger is. It looks like a plate. But what you need to do is grind that down or wire brush it down with a hand wire brush. One of these here. This is what I use. The brush on it's about four inches, three inches. Just on a regular cordless drill, and I got it set on high. So I did find that one, and I'll show you my other one here. Um, the, the VIN numbers are there. You know, they they may not look like they're there, but you really got to look for it, especially if the trailer's set for a long time, it'll get all rusty. And I didn't think this one here, this Shasta, this is my baby, the 61 Shasta. I didn't think this had one either, but my friend Larry helped me. And I recently, I painted over these. Um, but I wanted to do it again just to show you guys. See how nice and clean that come out? VA861. And also, uh, Bill, if you've got a plate like this, you really got to wire brush it down and it should match the same number on the other side. And this is the same VA861. Um, again, you know, using, using one of these. But a good example is this Scotty here, which is in pretty rough shape. If anybody's interested in buying it, let me know. Here's my little plug. It needs some pretty serious work, but geez, I love these old trailers. This thing's in pretty rough shape. My son wants to kind of use it for treehouse, but. I think it's gonna go, it's gonna get restored probably sometime. All right, so let's see if you got, hopefully you guys can see this. All right, sometimes the numbers can be here, under the LP tray, you know, on top. This one's a little rusty. I got my glasses on. And I just took a wire brush to it. You can, there's some numbers there, you can't really see it. So bear with me while I record. And see if I can hold this at the same time. I wonder if I can do that and get it. I'll try that. Okay, hold on, guys. Oh, yeah, that's coming in nice and clean now. Right, see that? See how nice and shiny that is? We'll do it a little bit more. Sorry about that, I got a bug eating my ear. And then I usually go the other way too. I'll, I'll switch it in reverse. Yeah. Now, let me set my drill here. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is obviously a 67. Uh, it says 6713829G. And this, just a second ago, looked like this. See this here? I mean, let's say the numbers were right here. Wish they're not, but I mean, see how clean that is already? So, yeah, have a little bit of patience and take your wire wheel to it on a cordless drill or an electric drill. The numbers are there. You know, on them old trailers, even the newer trailers, they stamp that right in with 
with their uh, tool, tool uh, letter tool die, I guess they call it. So, again, that's how you find your VIN numbers. Again, I'm going to plug this Scotty because I've had it in my yard for a year now. I just opened the windows up on it. Uh, anybody wants a good project, the, uh, got the original door knobs. It has the original fridge. Let's go around here. This chaster was used by a radio station, guys. And they opened this up right here and they had uh, benches and stuff in here and they had all their equipment on it. This came from Rhode Island. And if you look on the side, it says uh, WNRI, Rhode Island, uh, 1380, I believe. But it's got the heater there and I got the sink over there and the stove. But And it's got... It's got that original light. I don't have the gas globe, and it's got the vent there. Um, and it tray it it uh, tows really good too. So, all right, six minutes. I've used six minutes. So yeah, yeah. On them old trailers, Bill. There, the VIN numbers there. You just gotta, unless someone ground it down, which is unlikely, but you never know. You grind that down, you'll be able to see the. You know, take the wire wheel right to it. Put some pressure right on it and you'll have your numbers. Um, what confuses me on the other Shasta, this one up here that I just got. Like this one here says eight, V8861 and that one is 667. Six, so I know it's a 67, but this one up here is uh, 73, uh, yeah, no, 737. 3733, so I'm like, is it a 73? But the guy I got it from, his buddy swears that it's a 67, or 66 rather. So, and this one was tough to find. It was right under there. So, it was right down there. And it matches on that one over there too, so. So there you have it, guys. Get your drill, get the wire wheel. Excuse me, brush it down, you'll find it. Then it'll be cool when you register it that you'll actually have the original numbers. When I bought this, uh, they couldn't find the number, so we came up with a number, which now I have to change it back anyhow, but that's no big deal. But it's a beautiful trailer. If I didn't have my 61, I'd fix this one up too, but, and I may, who knows. I'm full of projects. Um, actually, in about two minutes. I don't like to put more than ten minutes on. I'm pulling the engine out of the wagon because I got to get to the manifold gaskets and put new frost plugs, in, uh, freeze plugs in it. And I got it out today. I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm gonna put it back in. But this is the wagon that's gonna be towing the car, guys. Oh, excuse me, the Shasta. There's the engine right there. I pulled it right out. Rented the lift today. It was 18 bucks. I'll bring it back tomorrow. It's better than buying a $200 lift. The wagon's all up. What a beautiful car. And ready to go, so. Tons of room in there, guys. They don't make them like that anymore. All right, I got a minute left, so. Anyhow, any questions? Send me an email. Uh, hope this helps anybody. Hope this helps you, Bell. Thanks, guys. Be safe. Bye.